Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. Part 3 of the Echoes of Prophecy is now live. We can see of dragons and influence. Here we have a new battle pass with a new progression track where we can claim all of those following juicy rewards. Now in order to obtain these premium rewards, you will of course have to pay that 2,500 sen, which I'm assuming right now is discounted with this 30% sale. I guess you guys can check and you will then go and retroactively be able to obtain all of the previous rewards. Albeit you will have to still grind out this currency. But once you have the premium rewards unlocked, once you progress the final milestone, you'll be able to get all of those rewards on all of those different parts. So no missing out there if you haven't purchased it yet. Now, as for these rewards, well, we have a few interesting things. First up, unfortunately, is just a piece of fashion for your head. Then we have an epic mount color choice pack, which is very neat. The only other way to obtain these is through the Reaper's Challenge or just through the Zen market itself there, costing a thousand zen at base value next up we have a vanity pet of this neverwintian lion pretty neat i guess that's just gonna look like the stalwart lion a tiny bit different and finally as a free reward yes we can obtain a legendary mount choice pack obtaining a swarm legendary carpet armored griffin Commander T-Rex, Tenacious Floating Disc, Legendary Giant Toad with its tunnel vision-like power with the 3000 magnitude, very good for single target, and the Brown Siege Bear. The only ones from there I would pick up would be either the Swarm, Legendary Carpet can be neat, doesn't do much damage though, just grouping up the enemies. Armored Griffin has the ability to debuff enemies, making them deal less damage. Commander T-Rex makes it so that you will deal more damage to enemies, very good, and the Giant Toad for the big massive hit. Unfortunately, the Tenacers or the Brown Siege Bear are pretty useless there. Then we go to the premium track. And again, we have another fashion piece here. This being the body paint. Should be able to see that there with show with current. Is the previous one also body paint? It is indeed. Gives you some underwear. Then our secondary reward, we get a legendary mount collar pack. My oh my, why not? There is no way in the game to obtain legendary collars aside from upgrading them. And I haven't even done so. The cost, albeit for legendary ones, not so expensive, but for mythic ones, damn, that's insanely high. But that's very neat. A legendary mount collar. We are, of course, purchasing these premium rewards, a legendary premium insignia. Why not? I guess a choice of pretty much all of them. And finally, this mythic barbed Neverwintian lion. Again, looking pretty much like the stalwart lion with a little bit of more sparkle, has that armor, which is very neat. Definitely a mount I want to obtain. It's the upgraded version, I guess, of the Swift Golden Lion, since this will have its armor. And we can see it will give you the bonuses there of the equip power of Neverwinter's Pride, giving that crit severity and forte. Again, not something really sought after. Forte can be pretty handy, though, to cap certain stats. Combat power, you can see there, will give you just the ability. It gives that knockback. Hopefully, it's not knocked back and just knocked down. And then it will grant you combat advantage against the foes. Could be very good for AoE to give you that combat advantage against all enemies. And it increase those ability scores by three and also increase your max HP. So not exactly something that's going to give you a massive boost in damage and not going to give you any damage whatsoever other than buffing up your own damage abilities if you use this in AoE by granting combat advantage against the enemies. As for its stats, you can see it'll just have three universal ones, assuming it'll give you any of those desired insignia bonuses looks pretty neat to me and i'd definitely like to be running around on this along with a stalwart lion companion and also i guess we can now also have a vanity pet that's pretty neat otherwise this of dragons and influence is now live this part we can jump over to elminster and we can begin our gold quest line now i will do this in another video and we'll see if we can similarly grind this whole thing out, see what rewards we can obtain, and then I can showcase them to you as well. If you just want to not bother about farming any of this nonsense, you can simply go to the event section of the Zen market and just buy out the entire of Dragons and Influence completion. You can see it will only cost you 700 Zen. That's a pretty cheap price if you're willing to pay Zen. For me right now, I don't see why I should. 
I can simply go and grind this thing out on hopefully my other characters. We shall see that again and we'll see what this golden quest leads us on again in the next video. So again, just an announcement that this thing is live and what rewards we can hope to obtain and how it really works. Again, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all of my channel members for helping me keep my channel going. And if I present as well, consider giving the video a like. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.